jurisdiction, we cannot compel someone to testify against themselves. So, is it allowed to demand a sample from a person? The answer is yes. This was in the court case of Gilbert versus California, where uh, handwriting was demanded of him, and he was proven guilty for it, if I remember the case correct, and he said, you can't do that, you forced me to to testify against myself. But uh, it was concluded that, no, this is not testifying against yourself. It is not testimony. It is finding evidence. It's not, you know, this is not testimony. Asking him to write random things is not testifying against himself. It is providing evidence. And we can certainly demand that people provide evidence if they have it. So uh, it's, it is not a violation of the Fifth Amendment of that, that protects a person from testifying against, against themselves. It's not testimony. It's a way of finding evidence. It's similar, by the way, uh, to uh, certain drug tests where um, uh, the person can say, wait, I don't, you can't take uh, my, my blood, uh, um, uh, that's testifying against myself. Then again, that is obtaining evidence and not uh, compelling testimony against, the person, uh, against, against that person. The other problem is the, uh, is, again, is the constitutionally protected right against search and seizure. You're not allowed to go into a person's house without a warrant. Uh, so are you allowed to demand that he that he write? Well, maybe that's like demanding something, and like search and seizure. In the United States versus Mara, this was decided that it's not search and seizure. And uh, in a way, it could be kind of obvious. It's not seizure. I mean, you're not taking anything for the person, and it's not a violation of privacy like a search, which is protected. The, uh, the person's privacy, the person's home is protected, but this is not a violation of the person's privacy because it's just demanding that he write certain random things not about himself. Incidentally, uh, if we demand a confession in writing, of course that's a, that, that is a that is a, a violation of of, uh, of demanding testimony against the person himself. We but asking him to write some random random words uh, about a random subject, which happens, which again should have words and letters similar to the question documents writings. And that's not a violation of privacy. It's not a search. It's just asking for evidence, not testimony. Now the question is, uh, if we ask for, we again, this is again requested writing. It's the best one is, is, um, is, uh, is, is the collected writing. But um, uh, again, sometimes we just don't have it, and we often do have the suspect, so we can get, we can get. Um, uh, the requested writing sample. The problem is, if it's requested, the suspect uh, might know what's up or guess what's up, uh, especially if the person actually did it, and they'll, they'll deliberately for write in a strange way. So uh, it can also happen because the person's nervous. They might write in it in, 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 a, in a different way. But so to, uh, but as mentioned before, a person's habits will naturally come out. If you uh, get a couple of pages... You can't keep up unnatural writing. You can't keep up wild writing. You can't keep up, you know, a falsified writing or just a strangely styled writing. Your habits will break through. You, you can't keep it up for too long. Therefore, you have a couple of pages. You can pretty much be sure that the natural writing uh, will come up and can be used as an exemplar to compare to the question document writing. The writer should also have a comfortable desk because if it's uncomfortable, the writing is going to be different. So they should have a comfortable desk. They should be able to write comfortably. Also, when we ask them to write, let's say, a page or so, or even a few pages, if we think the person is uh, deliberately scribbling his words in a strange way, um, we, uh, we do not tell him to copy words out of a book. We dictate to him. We might read the words out of a book, but we dictate to them because, remember, they're not only writing, they're also trying to think about the words that are being told to them. When they're trying to do two things, number, number one, write, and number two, listen to the person's words, it's uh, going to be hard to also write in a strange way and basically fight the habits, the year, the 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 the, the habits that have been built up for many years, uh, you know, in, in writing in a certain way. So that's why we ask for we we do the, we do dictation. We don't ask them to write in a book because then they can just concentrate on on uh, falsifying their style of writing. But if they're dictating, it's a lot harder. And again. Give him a, if you really have suspicion that the person's writing in a way that's not natural, keep him writing, because after a while his habits will break through, and he because he can't, he just can't keep through writing falsely for that long. 
the another thing to, to, that uh, we can use to try to add, try to be more certain that it's not they're not writing unnaturally when we uh, when we ask for this uh, requested sample. Uh, we do not tell them about the question document at all. I mean, may, I mean, the person might figure it out, but we don't tell them about which words that we're actually looking to connect. We also don't tell them how to spell anything because maybe they have a unique style of spelling or a misspelling probably. I mean, nobody really has a unique style of spelling correctly. Spelling correctly is not unique to anybody. Uh, certainly, hopefully not. Um, so if it's misspelled in a certain way, we're not going to tell them how to spell it. Let them misspell it and we'll match that misspelling to the question documents misspelling. So we don't tell them about the grammar, punctuation, or spelling. Let them make them, let them do it as natural as possible, and that way we can connect it to the question writing sample. We should you know, in, uh, do three different samples on, over three different times, because if they deliberately try to, fall, to forge their writing or to falsify or to, to write in a different style, they're not going to remember what the style was all three times. I mean, unless this guy's uh, really, really good at forging. Um, and yeah, they do actually have professional forgers that can possibly do exactly that but uh for this we, we really don't assume that uh we assume the standard forging is so forging a person might be able to do but they but having them repeat it three times it's almost never going to be exactly the same and we're going to tell we can tell if they manage to uh for our let's say page two or three pages the first time they managed to write in a strange way um in an unnatural way then the second time we demanded that it's going to be an entirely different and unnatural way we're going to see it and we're just going to Basically, just keep telling them to keep writing and writing and writing until we see some normal writing from the person. And remember, you can't keep up f um, falsified writing or style, altera uh, you know, style alterations in the writing for that long. There may have been other reasons that uh, the, uh, that the exemplar is, does not match the, the question document writing, and it could be due to the writing implements. Uh, so try to make sure they're the same. Pen, pencil, crayon, whatever it might be. Also, also that uh, the text we demand the right should have similar words as those of the question document. Like the, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if, if we have to, we'll just have similar words that have letter combinations that are the same. Like uh, ask them to, if the, the word in the, let's say the ransom note was people, we might ask them to write the word please. Or something like that, uh, because the P and the L go to are, are uh, you know, are, uh, are they, 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 one is, is next to the other, so we can compare that. Whatever it is, we try to have similar words so that, so that we can compare them more easily. Uh, if it's absolutely necessary, for some reason that we can't get the, the same words, then we, um, just have to get the, the, make the subject write similar, write certain, um, Certain letter combinations. We have to actually demand that the person write the word, certain specific word that was written in, let's say, the ransom note. So, uh, again, if we have to, we'll demand that they write, but we should avoid that if possible because that's like a tip off that that we're going to uh, we're we're going we're, we're really looking for that word. So they're gonna figure out, hey, this is the exact word that I have to write in a strange style. So we try to not to demand that he uh, add one specific word. But so again, we try to have him write something that includes that word. But if we if, the, if there's nothing, I don't know why not. If there's nothing that will include that specific word. Then we will actually ask him to say that write that specific word. 